What's up guys, good morning, happy Tuesday. It is flow day. And so today, I actually took on a flow challenge from April Dunham to create a cognitive expenses flow. Well, I have to say, I was not able to make it happen. I consulted a few of the other pros. They said that what I wanted to do probably wouldn't work. So, I kind of changed it up. And I'm gonna build an expense tracking flow using a flow button and SharePoint because it's useful. It's something that people need and best of all, it's easy for you to build and easy for you to go and use as a POC and show people how easy it is to make flows. All right, you ready to check it out? Let's go. All right, so to do expense tracking with flow, first thing we're gonna need is a place to store the data. So what I did here was I set up a SharePoint list. Uh, you can see I have a few columns, so I changed title to place name. Uh, I, ch I added a date field here. Um, I also added an amount, and then who it's created by and what department you are a part of. So uh, the amount, the date, and the place name, uh, actually, I'm sorry, the amount and the place name will be fields that will be passed by you. Uh, the date, will be grabbed by the flow button that we create. And, uh, and so what we're gonna try and do here is actually create a flow button with three inputs. And uh, what it'll do is it'll ask you for a place name, uh, a date, and, uh, and then your department. And what we'll do is you could then take, then take a picture of your receipt. And so what'll happen is in this SharePoint list, uh, you can see here I went to like big five. And so I went on 816. Uh, it was $43, you can see it's created by me, and I put it in the HR department, and then when I actually go ahead and click on uh, the item here, you can see that there's an attachment, and that attachment will pull up, and you can see it's actually my receipt. And so now it makes it very easy for me to keep track of all of my expenses so that I can do reporting, and I can just pass this information on very quickly to my uh, to my finance department or to uh, my my accountant or whomever, okay? So now let's go ahead and make it happen. So let's go ahead and jump over to Flow. And uh, you can see that I actually have this Flow open here fully so we can walk through all the steps together. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search for button uh, when your trigger field comes up and then you're gonna choose manually trigger a flow. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna add inputs, okay? And so what I did is I added three text inputs and then one file content input here. So the first one I just made a simple text box, place name, amount, and then I actually created a drop down here. Uh, if you see, if you click on one of these little uh, ellipses here, you can see add a drop down list of options. And so I just went ahead and created a little drop down here with all the different departments that you might want to use. So you can go ahead and just create your inputs, place name, amount, create your drop down for department, and then add your file content, which is where we can actually take a picture or upload a picture of the receipt. Okay, so that's done. Now, to keep things a little bit neater, uh, you know, you can see in my SharePoint list here, the date format is neat and it's, it's sortable and it's usable. And so uh, we do a little bit of cleanup here uh, and we convert the time zone. So the key button date is gonna give us uh, time in the UTC format, which for most people really isn't usable, right? So what I went ahead and did here is I added an action and I did the convert time zone action. And so I set the format string here to the sortable pattern. Uh, and then I uh, set my source time zone to UTC because that's what the button gives us. And then I set my destination time zone as Pacific because that's where I live. And so obviously when I'm looking at a SharePoint list, I wanna look at all these times in the context of my time zone, right? So, so we just do a little bit of cleanup there. Now what we do is we add another action and we do create item, okay? And so we create an item in the SharePoint list. Now I go ahead and connect to my site and my list. And then what I do is I use the dynamic content here to actually add some of the button uh, information into the create item. And so you can see manually trigger a flow here. The button passes us some information. So, so we made a field name called place name right? And so we'll pass that into place name. And then it's asking for date. And so we'll go ahead and pass in uh, our, our um, key button date here when it's pressed. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm sorry. We actually converted that time already. 
And so we just pass in the converted time value here. Uh, and then for amount, we pass in amount. And for department, we pass in department. Now, uh, we want to add an attachment, you know, the image to that. And so when you go into the advanced options here, you can see that adding an attachment isn't actually an option. And so uh, what I did is I went ahead and added another action and I did the add attachment action. And so I connect to the same list and the same site and I pass the ID of my create item into my add attachment. So that way we know that the next step is to grab this item and add an attachment to this item, okay? And so what we do is I create a file name. So it's the place name we used plus the timestamp. Uh, and then you add .jpg so that it creates a JPEG file. Uh, and then we just pass in the file content, which comes from our button press. And so it's, it's really, really simple to do this, right? So when we see manually trigger a flow here, we can see um, that that uh, file content is actually one of our choices. And so we can just pass that value in. And, uh, and now what happens is we can create a list attachment every time using that file content uh, from the button, which is in this case, I'll be taking a picture of the receipt. Uh, and so it just go ahead, it goes ahead and creates a file with a name and uh, automatically for you and, and goes ahead and attaches it right to the list item. And so now um, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my mobile and I'll actually take, I'll walk you through this so you can actually see me uh, go through the flow and see that it works. Uh, and then I'll actually go ahead and, and attach it to the flow here on the bottom. Uh, I'll attach the flow to the video in the description so you can download it. All right, let's switch over to the mobile. All right, so I am here in the Flow app. Uh, I have my Track My Expenses button up and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and press it here. All right, place name. I am at the post office. The amount of the bill is $36.70. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of my receipt here. use that and then my department i'm in hr to keep it consistent and then i go ahead oh and now flow is sending me a notification perfect i click done and the flow runs all right let's change over to the sharepoint list look at that i didn't even have to refresh post office today's date and the amount is 3670 like i said from me in the hr department just like that guys simple simple expense tracking all right so here we are real world just had some wings for lunch you can see the evidence of it down here now i'm going to go ahead and use my flow button to track my expenses so a few things place name breads Ale house, right? That's where we are. The amount, $48.93. Gonna go ahead and take a picture of my receipt, use the photo, and then to keep it lined up, choose my department as HR. Go ahead and hit done. Boom. Tracked in the SharePoint list. All right, guys. And just like that, it's a couple steps. A flow button creates an item in a SharePoint list, attaches your photo from the flow button. You saw me build it, you saw me test it, and you saw me use it in the real world. Useful, easy, you should go make one too. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna do a future video too where we're gonna do some more work with those expenses where I'll go ahead and grab those items and turn them into like a monthly report or something for your department. Sound good? Sounds good. All right, guys, as always, like and subscribe. Much love. See you in the next video.